Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Those of you that follow my channel know that I've already done several videos on Topaz Labs Photo AI. As a matter of fact, I'll have a playlist of those videos linked in the description below this video. Now in those videos, I've used Photo AI in varying situations. One thing I haven't tried though, is using Photo AI on older scanned images. I'm curious to see how Photo AI will handle the relatively low resolution of an image scan as well as, you know, the blurriness and film grain and artifacts that happen when you scan an old photo onto your computer. So that's what we're going to do today. Now I have five different images. As you can see, this is an older picture of my mom taken in the 40s at her wedding. This is actually my wife when she was around three years old with her dad taken around 1965. This is an old image of my mom taken way before I was born in the 50s. This is an image of my mom and my niece taken around 1985. And this is an image of my family. That's my wife. That's my three sons. Not sure who that character is. This was taken sometime in the 90s. And I wanted to throw a couple color images in there to see how it would do on color images. So that's why I chose those two. You can see everything's a little blurry. And there's a lot of film grain and some artifacts and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to send all five of these images into uh, Photo AI at the same time in bulk. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on the last one. So all five are selected in the film strip. I'm going to right click on any of those in the film strip and go up to edit in and then over and down to Topaz Photo AI right there and edit photo with Topaz Photo AI. Now I have the choice to edit a photo or a copy of the photo with Lightroom adjustments or just a copy without the Lightroom adjustments or edit the original. Well, I definitely do not want to edit the originals. And um, I think on one of them, that image of my mom on the beach taken in the 50s, there was some border, white border at the bottom that I cropped away in Lightroom. So I'm going to send a copy with Lightroom adjustments and click edit. So uh, Lightroom now is preparing all five of those images and sending them over into uh, photo AI and let's go down here to fit and look at this one now you can see in the lower left hand corner everything's pretty much automatic in photo AI it's going to initialize it's going to look at the image it's going to find a person in the image and then it will enhance the image accordingly so if there's a person's face there it's going to do what it needs to do to make the face look realistic uh, not make it look like a, a you know a, a department store or mannequin or anything like that. Now you can see it's done. Preview is updated and there's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. Now all of that was done automatically. I didn't do anything over here. You can see that it removed noise. It didn't have to sharpen it, but it did recover the face and it enhanced the resolution. So I think it did a great job on that one. Let's go to the next one. This is the image of my wife when she's around three and her father. Let's go down here and fit this one to screen. And you can see in the lower left-hand corner that progress bar kind of gives you an idea of what it's doing. So this could take a little while. My computer is relatively fast. Okay, it's updated. There's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. That one looks pretty good. My wife's eyes look a little evil there. But I could come in and try to maybe, uh, let's see if I roll down. That's enhanced resolution. All you have are choices, natural graphics or low resolution. You could try something different. Recover faces. Maybe if I dial that back, you again have to wait for it to render. You could see in the lower left-hand corner. Pretty much, probably not as good. It was probably up better when it was higher. But it's still not bad. I mean, it looks pretty good. Let's go to this oldest photo. Well, the second oldest photo of the bunch. This is my mom on the beach. She was in Florida, probably around 1953, I would bet. And again, you have to wait for it to do its thing. It's, you can see the lower left-hand corner. It has that progress bar. And over here, you can see it's, it detected a subject. It's enhanced the re resolution by 4x because it's a really small image. And there it's done. So there's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. One more time. There's before and there's after. All right, let's go to the, the first color image. This is my mother and my niece, Lisa, uh, taken 
uh, around 1985, I believe. And again, you have to wait for it to do its thing. On the top right-hand corner, you can see it found the subject. It's enhancing the resolution by 4x. And it's recovering two of two faces, and it's done. There's before, and there's after. There's before, and there's after. And I think it did a great job on that one. That one looks really good. And finally, here's my family. And it's found subjects. It's going to enhance the resolution by 2.1x. It's recovering five of five faces. And you can see the progress bar in the lower left-hand corner. I, I'm not sure if this would take any longer because it has five people in the image compared to the other ones, which had no more than two. But maybe a little longer because it has to recover each individual face. Now, outside of the image being probably shot on, um, I think my cousin took this with a disposable Kodak disposable film camera. So you could see, you know, no resolution really. But anyway, it's done. There's before, and there's after. There's before, and there's after. Uh, it did a pretty good job. And maybe it looks maybe a little bit over smoothed, uh, but still, I think it's pretty good. So there's that. Now when you're done, over here on the top, uh, bottom right-hand corner, you have save five images to Adobe Lightroom Classic. And I just used Adobe because it's easiest to see all five images in Adobe Lightroom. And you could see what's going on when they come back into Lightroom. Um, you could use this as a plugin in Photoshop. It also works as a standalone application as well. But there we are. We're all done. Now, the resolution's changed, so I really can't zoom in because it won't uh, zoom in the same amount. Meaning, see how much that one zoomed in and then see how much that one zoomed in? That didn't make sense too much. Let me show you some better way. Go up here to 100%. All right. So there's 100% on that one. Go back to that one. There's 100% on that one. See the difference? So anyway, um, let's go to fit. All right. So there's the unedited image or scan. And there is the edited image or scan. There is the unedited scan. There's the edited scan. Unedited scan, edited scan, unedited scan, edited scan, and finally the unedited scan and the edited scan. So I, I think it works great. Um, I have a bunch of scanned images, of course, old family photos and stuff like that that I'm going to run through Photo AI um, to see, you know, if it improves it and how much it improves it, and then. You know, I could share them with family and friends. So that's it. That's uh, Topaz Labs Photo AI on older scanned images. Give it a try and let me know your results in the comments below. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>